Hi, I'm Andrew Unger of the Daily Bonnet and Unger Review. I'm going to take you through a few new features on the website. Mostly it should probably look pretty familiar from what you're used to, but I'll show you a few things. So first of all, you'll notice over here we have sections. Uh, that's one of the major changes here. So in the past, you had sections like Mennonite Life, Church, the outside world, etc. So those have been renamed so that if you go down here, Unger and Thirst, that was the former food and drink section. Unger Suspicion is the outside world section. Unger the Influence, that's a new section. That's government and politics. Unger Games, that's also a new section. That's sports. Unger Conviction, that's the old church and religion section. Uh, and then... Believe it or not, the Daily Bonnet is still here. The Daily Bonnet has not gone anywhere. It still exists. It's just now under the umbrella, or maybe under the umbrella, of the Unger Review. So the former articles that were under the category of Mennonite Life are now going to be posted, including new articles, will be posted under the section The Daily Bonnet. So the Daily Bonnet has not gone anywhere. It's just sort of a subsection of the Unger Review, which contains these other things these other categories which may or may not contain Mennonite content, like some of the sports articles have nothing to do with Mennonites, some of the uh, government and politics articles have nothing to do with Mennonites. So I just figured the very Menno articles would go under the Daily Bonnet section, and then you have those other sections there as well too. Now, there's another new feature that never has existed before, and that is the headline contest. And if you click there, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, maybe you're watching this months from now, but as of right now, there's just been one headline contest so far, but we're planning to do these each week. And what you do is you click on the headline, uh, the article, you look at the photo, and then over here, you'll be able to submit your own satirical news uh, headline. So put in your email address and name. Make sure that you word these as a headline. I'll have a look at some of the headlines here. Never Neverville vows to overtake Steinbeck for most number of traffic lights or missionaries discover new new position. Make sure that your submissions sound like a headline rather than a caption like on a cartoon. So just keep that in mind for the future. Anyway, so we're, I'm planning to do this about once a week. You can submit your headlines, type it in there. Uh, it comes to me. I will select the top three this week. There were hundreds of submissions, so it was really hard to pick the top three. But, I'm but if you didn't make the finalist this week, try again next week. So that's the headline contest. Then here you'll see a link to our sister or Frenchoff site, Manitoba. There are some new features on Manitoba as well that are coming up soon. So some of you are familiar with this site. It's a non-satirical website about Mennonites in Manitoba. There are interviews uh, with a lot of uh, notable uh, Mennonites writers, not just writers, but a lot of other folks too. There's sections on food, places to go, There's a lot of stuff about Mennonite history uh, on this website. And we've also added, uh, there's nothing there right now, but maybe by the time you're watching this video there is, we've also added a literary section. So we are going to be including fiction and poetry by Mennonite writers. So that's an exciting thing coming up. I've already spoken to some, including some people that you definitely have heard of. Some, some well-known uh, Mennonite writers. You'll be able to find their work on uh, Manitoba. There also is going to be some additional uh, guest blogs on the website in addition to Aaron's own um, writing. So those are some exciting changes coming up on Manitoba very shortly. Now back to the Unger Review. So we have, I told you about the sections, we have Manitoba. If you want just the Daily Bonnet articles, which as I said is the former Mennonite Life section, you can click here and you'll get to, as you can see here, the Daily Bonnet, your trusted source for Mennonite satire. It still exists, brought to you by the Unger Review. If you want to search for articles, because there's thousands, there's 2,700, okay? So if you search here and you type in Schmont Fat, you'll get all the articles that ever mentioned Schmodfat. You can also search the site right over here. 
This takes you to the about page, some contact information and so on. And this one takes you to my own author website, uh, Andrew Unger author website, where you can learn about my books, events I've got coming up and uh, any news and, and press and things like that. Then we have social media icons over here, so you can click to join and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, if you would like to email subscription, I know a lot of you already are email subscribers, there's a email subscription page. And if you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can also do that as well, too. Basically what this is, is you, you can become a patron of the satirical arts. <laughs> and uh, basically it's, it's a monthly subscription and what you get out of that is the satisfaction of <laughs> helping us uh, run this website because there are a lot of expensive expenses involved in that. Uh, but you also get uh, exclusive merch. And depending what level you pick, it could be everything from stickers, mugs, and at the top level there are shirts, tote bags, and things like that. So that's really exciting if you want some Unger Review and Daily Bonnet merch. So I think that is all you need to know. There's also a link to purchase the best of the bonnet and a little bit of information about the, the book. So I just wanted to kind of go through the website and clarify that the Daily Bonnet is not gone. It's not ceased to exist. It is now Unger, the umbrella of the Unger Review. All right, thanks. Hope that was helpful.